Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Scratch Lorenzo kind of style bass. So, the final result will sound like this. So, now let's dive into the bass sounding like this. And we have the drum loop sounding like this. So, we found the presets and the bass. And more presets like Chris Lorenzo, so make sure to check the link down below. In the preset pack, you'll find all the presets you need to make this kind of style of music. So now let's head for the sound design. Bass sounds like this. So select the presets. Go for the square wave. We're gonna use the square and the sine wave. Because it's quite analog sound. Also maybe we're gonna use for FM elevation. We're gonna use the sine wave for that. So it's like FM from B. Level of oscillator B is half A, so we have that for the top end of the bass line. I'm gonna put it up on octave. Seven semitones. So I'll give this kind of effect, so slightly FM it. Then we're gonna shape envelope one. It's quite a short envelope with no sustain, short decay time, and some release. We're gonna route it to the noise and the sub, shaped like this. So for the sub, we're gonna use the sound wave. Just gonna hear this all, kind of give the bass more character. And we're gonna use the glass lid noise for noise for the high end of the bass line. Just gonna hear this will give it a bit more punch. Now we're gonna shape the filter, the low 18. We're gonna route the noise and the sub to it as well. And route envelope one to the cutoff. Just gonna hear this will really open up the bass. And we'll add some dry fatness. I think around here sounds fine. Now we're gonna add some more legato. And that's it for the oscillator, so now let's have it effects. First we're gonna give this the down sample distortion. Add some more presence and highs. Just mix it in with the original sound. Then we're gonna open it up with a hyperdimension. With a dimension part only. There's some chorus effect. So search for the sweet spot. We're gonna use a high pass filter. This will get some more harmonics in the highs. Around here sounds cool. Then we're gonna compress it. No OTT this time, just some compression. To make it pop a bit more. With a slow attack. Just something like this. And then some phaser. With the frequency around here. And the mix quite low. So only it breaks out the bass a little bit more. And that's me cueing. We're gonna we're gonna boost it around here with the flow. This will make it a bit more plucky. Then we're gonna give some more reverb to the high end of the bass line. So I'll put a low cut quite a bit. And a mix quite low. We're gonna do the same with the delay. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add envelope free to the master tuning to add some more punch to the sound. So make a really short envelope. Just something like this. And there we have the bass line of the song. So all together, it sounds like this. And that's it for the video, so if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you see more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next videos.